Hello, everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 13, verses 44 and 45, where it is written, The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and covered up. Then in his joy he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls, who on finding one pearl of great value went and sold all that he had and bought it. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Two sentences. Two simple message. The gospel of the kingdom of God. Symbolized by a treasure or a pearl. And someone goes and sells everything they have and gets that treasure. Uh, what does that mean? Well, it's just... Um, you know, it reminds me of a Bob Dylan lyric. Um, I think it goes: once you find that, once you find that you're on the top, you find yourself you're on the bottom. You could have fought tooth and nail and betrayed and done this and done that and done everything and sold yourself out to get material success, and in so doing, you've severed every meaningful human contact you've had. Yeah, untold riches. What about it? Is there any real enjoyment or any real community or any real joy in having that? No. Now that, of course, is an extreme uh, example. But in our world, things are always black and white. Things are more in the gray. And, you know, certainly pre-COVID, and we'll see what happens post-COVID, I came from, I'll admit, a comfortable middle-class background. Most of the people I knew came from a comfortable middle class background. Not that we're ever going to be Rockefeller, but we weren't worrying uh, about the rent or the groceries either, and we had some extras to get, you know, whatever. Pretty comfy. It was nice. But I found that so often that uh, thing I enjoyed, whether it was that nice meal out, going to see the movies, playing that new game, whatever, was a distraction. It was fun in the short term, but it was kind of like, hmm, it didn't really fill you up in the long term. Like, you know, in COVID, I mean, the first, you know, few days were fun. Oh, I could sit around, play video games all day, watch movies, and at, at about day four, it's like, okay, where, where's, uh, I want to get out of here. That's what it is in life. We enjoy the little uh, trinkets for a little bit, but there's no real satisfaction. In fact, uh, coming in this for me personally, the real enjoyment I've uh, had during my time during this whole lockdown is being at home and taking care of my kids. Sure, they wake me up, I'm like, oh boy, yeah. But the majority of times, I'm happy to be with them. Because it has to do with something other than myself. The real joy in life. I haven't even got to the gospel yet. Just in real joy in life, just in basic human knowledge, comes not from stuff but for being with other people and putting their needs first. And why should that be a surprise? Finally getting to the gospel, look at Jesus Christ and what he did. He's fully God. And he set aside all that divine power and authority, gave it all up. To be incarnate, a refugee child, part of a religious minority, just a common working man, wasn't even the Roman emperor or anything, and was here to die and arise. For us. Didn't have to, but he put our needs first. And this, there's justification for us as sinners, for we're forgiven. And this, there's salvation for us, for we go from being sinners to being God's children. Great. And in this also is a truly an everyday practical example of how to live, not for ourselves, but for others. For in Christ's mission, we find meaning for our lives. Real meaning that doesn't dissipate in 15, 20 minutes when we get bored with something. It lasts. And there's nothing else on this planet that can last like the gospel. Nothing. So, the real temptation is not to a hoard. The temptation is not to hoard our stuff. To willingly give it away in our pursuit of the gospel. As indicated here. The person found the treasure and gave up everything they had to get it. 
So for us, the lesson is, not that we have to live like hermits necessarily or monks, but realize the fun stuff, the extras are just that. They're extras. They're nice little bonuses. They're not the thing. They're not life itself. They're not real meaning. They're not real purpose. That comes from serving others. More specifically, that comes from the gospel of Jesus Christ. So if no doubts, it's worth it to give up stuff to get to it and to pursue it. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your gospel. We thank you for true meaning in life. God, help us to cast aside the things that so easily hinder that we may unhibbenly chase you. Or more accurately, you may guide us along the path. Amen.